Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day across the world. And uh, welcome to our Zoom musical. As you know, we have uh, Sean Maloney that is our featured performer today. And I've said it throughout some of the classes this week, but uh, Sean, many of you don't know this, but <clears throat> Sean actually knows a thing or two about music, believe it or not. Um, you probably know him as the technical expert behind the scenes and helping us with the uh, Zoom tips and tricks and little things that he discovers throughout uh, our classes, what have you. But uh, he comes to us with about, I think, seven-ish or so years ago with some guitar experience and other musical experience and learning the keys for the first time. And he very quickly, in a very short time, has um, very, very quickly learned uh, the, the virtual orchestras and the keyboards and the Lowry's and uh, has a nice variety of song selections. And he's got uh, a great program. He's going to be a little bit interactive at times. He's going to ask you to do things. That's why I say keep your video on if you can. And um, uh, he actually is our manager of our Mesa location, in case you're wondering. People do want to know where he's at. So this is great because we've got people from England, Florida, Wisconsin, Michigan, all over across the country. And uh, he's right there in Mesa, uh, ready to put on a great show for you. So without further ado, uh, let's get before we actually mute everybody. I'm going to say, let's give a big round of applause to Mr. Sean Maloney, everybody, before we get started. Hey, good job, good job. Oh, yay, Sean's hey. back. Hey. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Hey. Sean's the best. Hey. 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 Robert, you uh, you took your the host thing from me. Can you make me the host again? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I like I can't control anything now. Okay. Go for it, We're waiting for you. <laughs> Hold on. I took, uh, and we're recording this. Where are you? How embarrassing. How embarrassing. I'm going to give Sean. Host. 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 Better. Okay. It's not your Sean. Take it over. <laughs> Only on Zoom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. So let's do this here so we can see. There you are. There you go. Hi, Sean. Hi. All right. Should be quiet now. Great. Uh, well, welcome. It's great to see everyone. I've been on pretty much every class we've ever done on here. So I'm very familiar seeing all of you. Uh, what I will say before we start is it just helps me and it helps uh, all of us actually if you go to the bottom left here and click start video we want to see you uh, and there'll be a couple times I might ask you to do something silly or you know maybe I'll do something silly too um, I've got some weird ideas so we'll see what happens uh, just a basic history if you don't know me uh, I am in the Mesa Arizona <clears throat> location and uh, I am from Chicago, Illinois. I have a twin sister. I like walks on the beach, and the capital of Nebraska is Lincoln. So um, I'm going to start out with just a big fun song. I'm going to just wake you up here and play some Broadway music. I'm just going to play a bunch of songs, whatever comes to mind, and hopefully it goes okay. This will be the test here. And I'm playing on the lovely, lovely Lowry Liberty today, and I was excited to play on this because I was like, hey, you never know. If I play on this one, since it's the only one, maybe somebody will buy it. But as it happens, we sold it yesterday, so you can't have it. I think there might be one in Florida still, actually. So if you want one, <clears throat> let them know. So here we go, some Broadway music.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you very much. Go, okay. Sean. Sean. Sound okay? Nice Good cloud. Yeah. Cloud enough? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What does that mean? The sound is terrible. Oh, no. I don't want anybody to hear me. Hopefully it's not too bad. Sounds good. It's good. All right, all right. Well, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go through a bunch of styles of music today because there's something for everybody here. Started with some Broadway. I don't know if you can name those songs. If you want to put them in the chat, you can. I played three of them. And uh, I'm going to do something here that's kind of fun for me. I like music from <clears> – <throat> my voice is not working today. Uh, I like music from film. And one of my favorite uh, songs from film – is a, it's from a movie called The Pink Panther. Okay, you'll recognize it. Let me put this up so you can see it. It's, does this look familiar, that? Yeah. So the song in this, uh, in this movie is actually called Theme from The Pink Panther. So I'm going to play that. Here we go. And I'm a hobbyist just like you, so every time I learn a new song, I try to learn a new chord. So for this one, I learned an E, f what is it? An E minor flat five, E minor seven flat five. So I'm going to start with that, and then uh, the rest of the song's pretty easy. So here's the theme from the Pink Panther. That is theme from the Pink Panther. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sean! Yeah. 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 Sounds great, Sean! Thank you. That is so loud. Oh my I don't know, Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. So next, I've got a lot to cover today. So, like Robert said, uh, I think it was when he introduced me the last time. He said. Uh, it'll be on the edge of your seat action, so hopefully all of your seats have edges because you'll uh, be using them. So, Marianne. I'm gonna... what? Marianne. Marianne. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I just started playing this the other. I play a song called "Reason to Believe," which is actually quite old. I think it was from. Oh, actually, it's not that old. It's from the '60s. I think uh, Bobby Darren had a version. Uh, Rod Stewart had a version. Um, but I'm going to use the uh, saving presets uh, kind of method. And I, I saved these the other day, so hopefully it still works. There they are. And uh, 
I'm going to do something really cool. Uh, this is where I take out all the band members, except for just two of them. There will just be an acoustic guitar and a violin. And it's kind of a, got a country twang to it. So I'm going to play with just a guitar and violin. And then slowly throughout it, you know, I hope you're listening. Uh, I'm going to keep going through these presets, and I'm going to add more and more band members as I go along. So away we go. Here's reason to believe. So just listen for that uh, background here on this one. Let me switch it, uh, yeah, to this camera here. Oh, actually, I'll leave it on this camera. That's fine. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Great job, wow. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You heard the band uh, get yeah. larger and larger throughout that. Yeah. And uh, what's cool is, is you can do that at home too. Just take out everything. I took off that orchestra plus button if you have that. We've ta talked about that in class. Uh, you can take that off, add it in, add little parts in. Uh, it's a lot of fun, sounds great. So uh, let's do this again. We got a bunch of noise going on. Okay. So try that at home. It's lots of fun. Uh, let's see. Let's move on here. What time is it? I got time for this. Let's do it. <coughs> I'm going to play a song that's uh, kind of hard. Okay. This one's really fun. It's uh, a call song called Take Five by Dave Brubeck Quartet. This is from the 1950s when jazz started getting weird. So. This song is actually, the reason it's called Take Five is it's in a 5-4 time signature. That's five beats per measure. So every measure, instead of four, you're counting to five every time, which is a pain in the caboose, but it's really fun, and it's, it's hard. So it's, it's a good challenge. So I'm going to try playing. I'm going to try playing it, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start kind of soft and kind of add people in as I go along. Uh, and this is just a quartet originally, so... You'll only hear four people. So here we go. Take five, Dave Brubeck. And I'm going to use a couple features in here, too. There's one in the middle 
I'm going to use something called fake it, where I'm going to let the instrument play the, the solo for me, so I don't have to. Um, then there's a drum solo in the song. I'm going to hold the fill in, and it's going to do this wacky drum solo. So if you want, when he's doing the drum solo, if you go like this, you know, pretend to play drums, and maybe we'll spotlight you, okay? So here we go. So I'm going to start with take five. Let's just start with the drums. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Love the wild hair. Thanks. I got it. I got Thank you. Thank you. I'm even getting barked at. I think that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, every time I turn around, I feel like. Maybe I'm gaining weight. I look like chunky from this angle. I suppose I suppose everybody says that. Whenever I say something like that, I'm getting chunky. People are like, you don't know what chunky's like. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of weird. But uh, maybe I should sit up more. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to play uh, a really, really great song. I just started trying this out the other day, too. So if you've heard me at uh, Mesa a thousand times, uh, some of you might have. Uh, I probably haven't played this one. So kind of a new one for you and new one for me. 
and I kind of need the music for it because it's a little tough. Look at this. Nice label there. So I'm going to play a song called December 1963. Now what's great about this is we all have uh, memories associated with music, and I think that's one of the most important parts of this hobby is you all, when you play a song, not only is it fun to play, but it kind of takes you back, right? And it's, it's really fun because you can kind of time travel, transport yourself to some when that music originally came out. And this song is important to the writer of the song. It, December 1963 means absolutely nothing to me because I wasn't quite born yet or hatched or whatever. So I'm going to play it, and you can kind of think about that sort of uh, emotional connection to the music. So this is uh, December 1963. Oh, what a night. So again, I'm going to start uh, with just drums and bring everybody else in. Thank you, thank you. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, good job Sean. Thank, thank you. Job. I screwed yeah. that one up, but that's okay. I had that. <laughs> Who knew? Right? Uh, as long as we had some dancers in the background to cover it up. I saw that. I kept glancing over and I was, whoa, what is Robert doing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But uh, this was, that was a lot of fun to play. If you haven't tried that song, it's actually quite fun especially if you don't mess it up a lot, but that's okay. Hopefully you didn't notice. So, all right, I'm going to try something. This is an experiment. Um, so I saw Don Casanova and some other uh, staff members singing in their shows, and I got kind of jealous. I was like, I want to do that. So I thought, what can I sing? Well, I can't really sing anything. I'm not much of a singer. But uh, I thought of a song that I, I like to do uh, during karaoke. Does anybody do karaoke here? Raise your hand or... You know, when you're allowed to do that sort of thing. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of fun. What I like to do is a song. Here, maybe you'll recognize this. Has anybody, I'll start here. Has anybody ever seen the TV show uh, Laugh-In? It's like the late 60s, early 70s. <coughs> and you'll recognize that person kind of in the center there. That's uh, Goldie Hawn. So what, the reason I bring this up is there was a guest uh, singer they had on that show in one, one year. Uh, his name was Tiny Tim. Yeah. Oh, and my God. Remember the wild? Yeah. Tipping uh, through the, tipping but what's funny about him, he's got the m most 
horrifying voice, or a strange, strange voice. And when I do karaoke, I like to do a, a, an impression. So uh, I'm going to do my singing song here. And I'm going to combine it with, a, with another song here, maybe do a little medley. Uh, I'm going to play the song Ain't Misbehavin'. And then I'm going to misbehave after that. And then I'm going to do it. So I call my medley uh, Misbehavin'. I just made that up. So here we go. Let's do Ain't Misbehavin'. And then I'm going to do something really weird after that. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I need the, the music for this. So I have the lyrics so I can sing it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use this microphone instead. Here we go. I had to ask, uh, I work with a, a fella here named uh, Bart, and I had to ask him beforehand, I was like, I've got this funny idea, I just thought of this, like, this morning, too. I was like, I got this funny idea, you think I should, do you think this is funny, stupid, or the perfect combination of both? And he said, uh, the, la the latter there, so, I did it, so, so hopefully that wasn't too embarrassing. Hopefully this isn't going on YouTube or anything, so... <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do a song for absolutely no reason at all. I just uh, tried this the other night, too, and I had fun with it. This one goes way back. This song goes all the way back to the 1980s, so quite a while ago, maybe before most of your time here. So uh, who did this? I think this is George Michael. I'm going to do a song by George Michael just because it's fun, and I found it yesterday. Some of you might not know it. Some of you might. Uh, I'm just going to do it for fun, though, so here we go.
Well done. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I put in the I put in the chat. Anyone can guess the song or win a virtual lollipop. What was the name of the song? Anybody guess? Careless Whisper. Careless Whisper. That is correct. That is correct. What else do we got? Let's check in here. I've got a couple more songs, so let's check in. Is everybody doing all right so far? I see some nods. Yep. That's good. That's good. Everything sound okay and all that good. Everything's great, John. Thank you. I appreciate that. Was that Maureen? Yes. Hi, Maureen. Uh, Hi. Okay, so let's move on then. Uh, if I don't have any questions, uh, let's see. I saw somebody said, I love that song. Can you post the music for that? Um, I don't have it. I don't have it. I used, I did it by ear, so I'm not sure. Uh, I think I found the piano sheet music for it one time, but I don't know if that'll help most of you, but maybe. So I'm going to do another song here. I want to talk for a second about one of my heroes. Uh, one of my all-time favorite people in the world, uh, one of my favorite comedians, I should say, is a guy named Jerry Lewis. He can do it all. He's got the physical humor, the verbal humor. He's just great. And, uh, he could do everything. So look at this. He's got silly faces. There was a movie, too. It's this one. In uh, 1965, he did a movie called um, The Family Jewels. And uh, he played like seven different characters in the movie. So he got to use all these made-up characters that were just kind of for fun. And uh, <coughs> the next song I'm going to play is featured in the movie uh, when... Jerry Lewis, he's an airline pilot there, one of his characters. He goes into the, the bathroom in his airplane, and he finds this band playing. And actually, this band is his son, this guy in the center here. I don't know if you could see that, that guy there. That's his son, Gary Lewis, and that's his band, The Playboys. Gary Lewis and The Playboys. And this is the song they featured. It's called This Diamond Ring, so it's a lot of fun to play as well. It goes kind of between a... Uh, a uh, major key and minor key, so it'll start off minor and then it'll go major. It's let me pull it up here. I gotta get my presets ready to go, but uh, super fun to play. And uh, here's Jerry Lewis's son, my hero's son. So here we go. I'm gonna change the camera. I'll just do this one for the for this one here. Let's see. Whoa, oh, we don't want that there. Go away, away. Okay.
Awesome. Very good. Awesome good job. job. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Yeah. That's one of those songs that I could play a million times all the way through, and it sounds great. And then I play it in front of people, and I screw up. Uh, but you guys don't experience that, I'm sure, right? Yeah. No, we no, never no. do. Good. I have a customer who says that every time because he likes to, or he used to, he used to like coming in to play for me all the time. And he'd say that all the time. He's like, ah, oh, I do this so much better at home, I swear. <laughs> and I say, I know it. I'm sure you do because <laughs> I do. So I'm going to play a one more song here. This is one of my all-time favorite songs to play, and it's in a minor key as well. I like minor keys, I guess. Uh, major keys are, yeah, they're okay. But uh, I'm going to do a song from a movie again, and this is one of my favorite movies. It's nice and long. This is from a spaghetti western film. Does anybody know what movie that's from? That is from The Good, The Bad, and The and Ugly. The ugly. Yes. There's Clint Eastwood smoking a big old cigar thing. And you're making me think about lunch. <laughs> you eat cigars for lunch? That's weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm going to play that song, and I'm going to feature an instrument that I actually created in here. You can do that, too. What I did is I mixed together a Native American, or I, I made a Native American flute sound by mixing a pan flute and an ocarina tuned down an octave so it doesn't sound high like a pan flute it actually sounds exactly like a native american flute which is one of my all-time favorite instruments so uh let's uh play that i'm gonna mute that okay here we go
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Do we have any uh, announcements, Robert? I think that's that's about it for me. Unless you need like a finale or something, I can do that too. Well, I will do announcements if you do a finale. Okay, that sounds sounds like an even trade. That's fine. That's okay, nice. well that'll give you a chance to think of what you're going to do there. Yeah. I love that hairdo. I've got to grow my hair out so when I'm playing, it'll get all flippy and wavy, and it'll start flapping around like that. Kind of makes me look cool and a rock star. But I at least I wore the same shirt as Sean today. Someday when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Sean. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you're enjoying the show so far. We're going to have Sean do a finale here. Just a couple things on the horizon. Next week, we've got all sorts of product feature classes. Uh, actually, Sean, if I'm not mistaken, you're doing the SEA Intermediate. <clears throat> that is correct. Monday so at those 10 models. 1 p.m. 10 a.m. Uh, Arizona, 1 p.m. Florida, and sometime a lot later in United Kingdom. Um, <clears throat> I don't know the exact time, but we, we're actually broadening our horizons on the product. So on that particular series, it's going to include, I might miss one, but check the emails. It's going to be for holiday classic owners, Encore, Legacy, Premier. Um, I might miss one in there. And then I decided by some uh, feedback from students that have other models um, that have some of the smaller SE and the LCs. That's a later time in the month. I sent out an email on that. Keep an eye on that. Um, so what we're doing is we're trying to get a product feature class for every group of instruments that are very similar in nature. So, and if you don't have that series and you happen to have a free time and join, that's okay. Cause you'd be surprised. A lot of that applies to some of the other instruments on uh, Tuesday. I believe Tuesday is Joni doing the EY. Is that correct? Some of you may know this gal, um, she was our featured artist. I'm looking through there all. Shady. Yeah, we know Joni. We know Joni. But she is going to be teaching the EY series. And I can't wait to see that because every time she teaches a product feature class, there's always something great that comes out. We get a lot of compliments on that. That's on Tuesday at uh, same time, 10 a.m. Arizona, 1 p.m. Florida. Um, and then but last but not least, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that as soon as the concert's done, all of our Fletcher Music Center stores gift shops are open immediately. We have some wonderful gifts. We have choices from Lowry organs to Lowry organs, and we have some Lowry organs and we have some Lowry organs that are available for sale. Feel free to browse around through our store. If you can't do that, come by coming in. Do a virtual visit. Call one of the stores on the phone and they'll walk around and show you the lovely items we have on display. But having said that, we actually have uh, a week ago, we announced one of our largest histories uh, liquidation in our history. That ends on the 19th. And I have to tell you, since that, uh, that announcement, we have made many, many, many happy customers. So I encourage you to reach out to your uh, PAs and find out more. Uh, we also recently purchased a, uh, a handful of models from a dealer that offered us uh, at a price point we couldn't refuse. We have some of those left, not many. Uh, th those went through really quickly since last Friday. And, uh, and then, of course, I'm just going to tell you that everything we do is in support of encouraging our, uh, in support of our music club activities. As we, as we continue on, uh, our numbers are growing and growing and growing. That's great. So spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your, your neighbors. Tell anyone you want. Um, we have uh, really great small models at very reasonably priced. Uh, that's great for starters. And they can learn online. And we're starting to do some local area conductor magic classes and beginners courses too. So be on the lookout for that. With that said, we are going to have Sean Maloney do his finale number here. And I was hoping it was going to be Marianne, but I have a feeling he's not going to do that today. No, actually, truth be told, I don't really care for that song, so I probably <laughs> won't be playing it. Uh, I, I only play the stuff I like, and you guys should too. If you don't like it, don't play it. You know, that's what I always say. Unless you're going to learn a new feature or a new uh, chord, like I said, it, sometimes it's helpful to play new things. 
Uh, but the whole purpose of this uh, is a hobby, and that's what I am. I'm a hobbyist, so I think it's kind of funny. I, I when I talk to students, if I play for somebody who's never heard me, they say, "Oh, you sound good because you you play like us," you know. And I say, "Wait a second, what does that mean?" Um, but it's a good thing. It's because I'm a hobbyist. I, you can tell most of the time I was playing either one, two fingers, and then sometimes I play like full fingers, you know, full fingers, more than one finger, uh, because it's my hobby and I want to learn more and I like doing stuff. So do that too. If you like songs, uh, try to find them and play them. Uh, I'm going to finish up with a medley because I get bored easily and I like to change songs midway through. So I'm going to play a bunch of songs by a guy named Frank Sinatra. You might recognize that name. Maybe you don't. Uh, but I'm going to start with a song you'll recognize right away. And I am a hobbyist, so I do need music for this one. So you'll recognize the first one right away and see if you can spot the others here. So let's do this. Ah, I'm just going to keep this camera on here. This is fine.
Big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy hobbyist. Happy hobbyisting. And happy. And uh, call your PA if you need any help. That's what we're here for. So keep playing. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today. Let's give another round of applause. Next week, by the way, we have Carrie Price is going to be our Zoom musical artist. Some people have been asking. And, uh, and uh, we're going to be in for a treat for that. So stay tuned in for that. But again, another big, big, big super Zoom round of applause, Mr. Sean Maloney. Woo! It, everybody. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great. Right. You have to good stay, you. Now you have to say thank you, stay safe, keep playing music, and then you got to blow a kiss to everybody. Uh, but uh, I don't want to spread my COVID to anybody, you know? It's, it's a virtual, so you're okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so I'm kidding. I don't have COVID. I'm fine. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. Let's not give it up, and I'm going to hit end. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Uh...